Hey guys, it's YB. So I'm in Germany right now for Christmas vacation. So vlog coming soon, probably a few weeks later, but today is a continuing video from last video. If you haven't seen it yet, please go watch it. It's my behind the scenes of editing for Try Guys and particularly without a recipe. Today we're gonna continue on the Q&A that I haven't finished yet last time. So any video editing questions you ask me on my Instagram, I'm gonna answer them now. So hopefully they're helpful. And if you have any other questions, please feel free to comment below and ask me. I'll try to answer as much as I can. Here I am in Germany uploading my video and hope you enjoy it. Hi, Louis. Bless you. So how do you store and organize all of your footage? As you guys saw, I have them in bins and different times and I color code them so you guys kind of saw how I organized it. Where to start and set up? Well, I really recommend Adobe Premiere Pro because out of all the editing programs I've used, you know, I've used Avid, I've used Final Cut Pro. I like Adobe Premiere Pro the best. Like Premiere is so easy to learn and very, very straightforward. And I feel like once you learn Premiere, jumping to other editing programs if you need to should be way easier than starting, let's say, fresh from Avid. In my opinion, Avid, Avid is the hardest to learn, but it could depend on the person, but Premiere to me has everything you need. If you're getting serious about editing, like I know you can use iMovie for free, but you really can't do much on iMovie if you want to edit, edit. So I recommend getting Premiere and all you really need to do is practice. You can, you know, you can take lessons and stuff, but ultimately what's gonna improve your skill is practicing. Obviously taking lessons for technical stuff like what key to press or how to do this, Looking up YouTube tutorials, that's really cool, but the ultimate thing is to practice by yourself. So I would just download some stock footage, make stuff up, or film something by yourself and practice, because practice is key. Should I buy a Mac just to learn how to use Final Cut Pro or learn Adobe on my PC? Up to you. Like I said, Premiere I think is enough, and Premiere you can do a lot and it's really easy to learn so there's no need to buy a new computer so you can do Final Cut Pro but Final Cut's also awesome um, but for me I think Premiere is honestly enough. I'm gonna start doing short weekly vlogs as a sort of a journal. What editing software or equipment would you recommend? Well if you're just doing vlogs I think iMovie is honestly fine um, but if you want to get into again editing Premiere is probably the better option to go to but obviously it costs money so if you're just doing vlogs I think Something cheap like iMovie is okay. And equipment wise, honestly nowadays, iPhone does everything. You can buy an expensive vlog camera if you have the money and that would look good, but I'm filming this on my iPhone right now and the quality I think is okay, so yeah. Do you use any other program other than After Effects? After Effects is actually, for me, really hard and I'm trying to learn it. After Effects, you know, is where you do all the graphics and stuff and I'm still not very good at it. I have to watch YouTube tutorials all the time if I want to try something new. But if I'm doing graphics, that's mostly what program I do use or I just download a lot of stock footage that's already kind of made. And how did you learn how to make videos? How did you get interested in it? How did I learn practice? How did I get into it? Well, you can watch my video where I talked about my whole getting into this career situation. Um, I'll link it up there. But basically, I took a video production class in high school and I got really into it. And from there, I just started doing it. All right, so before we continue, I wanna to talk to you guys quickly about Audible. So we're always on the go nowadays, in the car, traveling, or just commuting in general, and audiobooks have gotten really big. And with Audible, you have so many options to listen to. Audible content includes an unmatched selection of audiobooks, original audio shows, news, comedy, and more from leading audiobook publishers, broadcasters, entertainers, magazine and newspaper publishers, and business information providers. They also have Audible Originals. So Audible Originals are exclusive audio titles created by celebrated storytellers from worlds as diverse as theater, journalism, literature, and more. You will also get access to audio fitness and health workouts created exclusively for Audible. Having an Audible membership includes one free audiobook a month, exclusive sales, and 30% off all regularly priced audiobooks online. Some of my favorites include Game of Thrones. You can listen to the whole audiobook, the entire collection online on Audible. Then there's Pride and Prejudice, uh, which is one of my favorite classics. With Audible, you can go back and re-listen anytime, even if you cancel your membership. So these audiobooks are yours to keep. And if you didn't like it, you can exchange it for another one. So I have a special offer for you guys. You can get your first audiobook for free, plus two Audible Originals when you try Audible for 30 days. To do this, you can go to audible.com slash ybcheng or text ybcheng to 500-500. Again, go to audible.com slash ybcheng or text ybcheng to 500-500 to get this deal. 
Now, back to the video. What do you do if you have lost an audio clip or have really poor audio? Well, yeah, that happens, especially in my own YouTube channel too, like it always happens. In bigger productions, usually that doesn't happen because you have a specific audio person to do it. But when I'm doing it or when it's a few people, that obviously happens. Worst case, just put subtitles, apologize, you know, have a, make a note like, hey, sorry, our audio got messed up. You just have to put subtitles and work with it. Um, as an editor, I really learned to work with things that don't work out well, like sometimes I'll, scene is missing or sometimes this camera is messed up or yeah audio is messed up you're gonna work with it add subtitles or skip that section or work around it so you can edit around it you know you just kind of have to work with it because you can't really retrieve it how do you determine what is copywritten or not? It's always good to give credit if you're using someone else's idea or you're inspired by someone. If you're talking about music and video footage, we use a royalty-free music and video and image stocks um, that we have a account for. We do video blogs, story blogs, and audio blogs. So if you download from those and have an account there, then you have the copyright, so you're good. If you don't have those accounts, then I would make sure you're you can always google stuff that things are royalty free and use those and like have the right credits in the description so you're not really doing a copyright stuff favorite software premiere what's your setup equipment software favorite starting tricks or time saving hacks well i think i gave you all the hacks and tips i have for now and if you want to see my setup i have two computers i have the main imac and a second monitor so i can just kind of have more room and i have an editing mouse that i like to use it takes a bit of getting used to in the beginning but it makes me edit faster what's your favorite part of editing favorite part of my editing style is when i get to do something crazy like either when I show the guys freaking out and then I put this like trippy music and zoom into them putting a lot of layers on top and ice cream I would say my favorite part is Ned freaking out and his penguin moments those things where I can just kind of like play with the edits to make it look crazy and funny um, I definitely like that so I love editing comedy and making people laugh and making it have an impact on the viewer that's probably one of my favorite things to do what do you do when your back hurts? It hurts a lot, so I'm trying to stretch a lot and I try to not slouch so much, but I gotta work on that. How did you manage to find passion in editing? And is it always enjoyable? I don't think any work is always enjoyable. Obviously, it gets stressful and tiring sometimes, if, especially with the deadlines. And a lot of people say editing is, it can be boring, and it's true. Like, even me who actually enjoy editing, it can get boring if you're editing the same footage over and over but for me at least I still kind of have fun doing it because I've always liked creative storytelling and for me editing is a way to tell a story I would say try to find a genre that you want to work on maybe that's the big thing because for me like documentaries weren't a thing like editing worth it I didn't enjoy as much as editing Try Guys so I knew I liked editing like comedy or horror I really liked horror but I didn't like documentary so you, you should find a genre that you like and go for it because other than you will get bored and it's easier to edit something that you have some kind of interest in how long did it take you to learn to edit videos I would say I'm still learning you learn every day but it didn't take me too long to figure out how to edit because all you really need to is know the keys and you can watch YouTube, YouTube tutorials and practice and if you practice like for a day you, you can get a gist of it and the more you practice the better you get the more styles you learn and you watch other videos and see how they edit and you learn their style so it's really a learning process I would say I'm still learning how does someone with no experience in video editing get into it well <laughs> make an experience so everyone starts from no experience so don't worry if you're not so serious not sure yet use those free iMovies or window makers I started with a window maker back in the days just start doing it and if you really like it and get serious then get Premiere because for me that's like the best pro uh, program to use and just practice if you don't know how to do something if you don't know what key to press there's Google, there's YouTube tutorials. You can learn everything pretty much online nowadays. How to edit quickly. Obviously you don't wanna to take too long editing, but you don't wanna to do too fast either and make it sloppy. So I guess kind of give yourself a timeline. We always have a deadline, so that kind of helps that you don't spend way too much time on it. But your goal shouldn't be to edit quickly. It should be to obviously fall into your deadline, but to make it good. How do you pick the songs? 
Oh, picking music is probably one of the hardest things to do in editing. We have an audio library called Audio Network. Sometimes you find the music, you put it in and play along and it doesn't work. Or sometimes we send in a note and the guys don't like the song so we have to change it. So picking music always takes a long time. How long does it usually take for you to edit your videos? It depends on the video. If it's my own YouTube channel video, I could probably finish it in a day. But if it's a Try Guys video, it obviously takes a few days and sometimes a few weeks depending on the note process, like how many notes I get back. Without a recipe, it took around two, three weeks. And normal Vi Try Guys videos take a week to two weeks. When you get frustrated with editing and don't know where you want to go with the edit next, what do you do? It's like writer's block with editor's version, a creative block. If you take a little break and usually you watch it over and sometimes get different ideas, trying different music always helps because for some reason, having different kinds of music changes the whole edit and the whole mood of it. And if I'm really, really stuck, I ask the guys or fellow editors, how did you make Tiny Eugene, Ned, Zach, Keith inside the fried box in the 400 nugget challenge? So for the Food Babies video, we always make the guys really tiny in like a fry box. And how we do it is we shoot it on the green screen and key out, which means you can delete a certain color. So you key out the green color so that the guys are just, it's just their body. And then once it's just their body, I like shrink it and make it smaller, like a photo and then place it behind the fry box. What are your keyboard layouts for Premiere? It's the same Premiere default layout. I just learned the default because I thought it's probably easier that way. Do you ever collaborate and edit with someone else? I don't do it much because it's really hard to split an edit with someone, especially if your styles are different because then it would kind of be weird to put it together. We've done it at Try Guys when we did the Google I.O. video because the timeline was so fast. So me and Devlin actually split the video. We usually, I don't recommend it um, unless your editing styles are super similar because it's just kind of more work. If you have to split with someone, if you have to partner with someone, then I would make sure you have some extra time for you to when you put those two together to smooth it out and kind of make sure you're using the same kind of style. How do you compare editing for YouTube compared to traditional editing learned in film school? I went to film school and I learned like the traditional film TV editing. I had no problem just adjusting to the web editing. If anything, it was easier. Going from scripted to unscripted is a little hard, but for me it was better because that gives me more creative control. Maybe if film schools focus more on unscripted stuff, it would help a little bit, but I think it's fine. I don't think there's a huge difference and if you already know how to edit, you'll adjust pretty well. All right, so that's all the questions that I could answer today that were on my Instagram and I hope these tips helped you and this workflow showed you kind of how it works and I hope you enjoy more of the videos I edit and try guys and on my channel. Happy holidays! Bye!